It's somewhere out there, in the deep dark blue, all by itself. This was meant to be a fun day, but it ended up being one of our worst days. We lost the DJI Air 2S down there. As I was battling winds here with the DJI Mini 2, the Air 2S was behind me, about to fall. This is all that's left of the DJI Air 2S. And a lot of you probably thought I didn't like that drone because of my previous video. So if you have any questions or hate, use the comment section in that previous video. This video is about something completely different. But just to sum it up, Mini 2, Mavic 2 Pro. That's what I have in my kit bag. I don't need anything in the middle. If you do and you have different needs, that's fine. The Air 2S is a great drone. That, if it suits your needs, superb. But I'm gonna be happy with the Mini 3 and the Mavic 3, which I'm saving up for. So that is basically what I like in my kit bag. The middle ground, I don't feel it's needed or enough of a big step up to get it over the Mini 2. But like I said, we're talking about something completely different today, and that is losing your drone. We lost our drone, the Air 2S, in the sea. So it is fishing with the swimmers, swimming with the fishes. <laughs> and it was a sad day, it hurt, and I really was sure the Air 2S was going to make it back to us when it didn't. It's a little bit odd. I do have the map, I have the last few minutes because it auto synced back to the DJI Fly app, so you're going to be able to see all of that. It was an odd situation. The Mini 2, I was flying, I have lost papers, so I need to see my drone to fly it, and I try to keep that in sight most of the time. Whereas the Air 2S was being flown by someone who has beyond line of sight papers. So before you guys go all crazy in the comments, he is allowed to fly it beyond line of sight, so he doesn't have to see the drone to fly it. That's why it was further out than mine. Now, we went to hell, and that's actually the name of the place we were, Hell Poland. It's known as the beginning of Poland. It's the very end of the peninsula, and it's a beautiful place with beautiful water and sea, but it was a little bit windy. I was getting wind, you know, warning signs from my DJI Fly app, which I always ignore, because I've had it in much worse winds, much worse winds, and it's always handled it fine. And it did this time, but the Air 2S didn't. Now, maybe there are more advanced flyers out there who can, you know, help us get to the bottom of this. Maybe DJI will help us get to the bottom of this, though I don't think they will. But it was an odd situation. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you the maps. You're gonna see us flying around with the um, Air 2S. We have the actual footage from it. It is HD sync, so it's not perfect quality. But you're gonna see exactly what happened, how it fell down, and I'll also show you footage from the Mini 2, so you can see more or less what it looked like that day, where we were standing. Yeah, screw up situation. It's painful to lose a thousand dollar drone in the sea, and it's even more frustrating when you can't get it back home because from what I feel safety features kicked in and we didn't have full power to get all the way back to the home point. Anyway, let's um, have a look at that map, shall we? So right there with the big H's, that is hell. We are standing on the very, very edge of it. It is the beginning of Poland and you can see us right there. So let's zoom in on this map a little bit closer. So the arrow you see moving right there is the DJI Air 2S. We're moving forward. You can see on the left and right hand side, the circles are the sticks and you can see what each stick is doing. So right now it's moving forward. And the view looks like this. So we're standing somewhere down there in the middle and we're flying backwards at the moment. It's quite beautiful out there. And if you go up and back, 
you get this stunning view of the whole peninsula, which I've shot a few times with my Mavic 2 Pro. So the Air 2S got to a certain spot, just over a kilometer away, and we got a wind warning. And I said, do not come back this way, I'm having some trouble with the Mini 2. There's a lot of wind, a lot of turbulence, don't do it. Try going off to the right and maybe you'll have an easier entrance there, but do not come back the way you went out. So the Air 2S started flying to the right. And as you can see, it's a really, really beautiful view. The waves don't look too ferocious. It's, it's okay, it's not too bad. And you can more or less see the whole end, the whole ass of the peninsula here. Or is it the face? It could be the face, considering it's the beginning of Poland. So what happened here is we got to the end. And this is where the difficulty started. So keep your eye on the top right hand side. That is how much time we have left to fly the drone, 40%. And watch what happens with this timer. We're starting to fly back. I have overlaid the image on the map so you can see what's going on at the same time. It's going up to eight, nine, 10 minutes, 11 minutes. So, okay, everything's quite calm. You can see the drone is moving forward on the map and on the actual image. But then it starts dropping very quickly from 11 minutes all the way down to under four minutes in about 20 seconds. So the Air 2S is in some serious trouble now, but you can see we're not that far away from land. We're in sports mode. If we kick it forward, we should be able to make it back with 35% battery. There should be absolutely no problem at all. The Mini 2 has already landed. So at the moment I'm right next to the Air 2S pilot and I'm doing what I can to help him out. We are trying to fly forward and it really is not that easy. The Air 2S is in a lot of trouble and it just cannot move forward fast enough. It's moving forward at about two to three meters a second, which isn't too bad, but you can see it's fighting. It's really, really trying to get back home. And at the moment, we're quite positive that we're gonna get home in one piece. We don't see any reason for it not to get home. So we're gonna fast forward about a minute and 20 seconds so you can see what happens as we get closer to land. This is the drone with 11%. We've gone one minute and 20 seconds forward. And you can see it's flying forward. We don't actually have the recording from this part, but we're gonna turn it on in a second. Critically low battery, aircraft automatically landing. We're on 9%, one minute and 15 seconds. We would be able to make it back home, or at least to the very edge of the beach with that much percent. Now we started to record here again because we saw things going south. When a drone auto lands, the camera looks down. So it looked down and we're trying to look up again. Quite stressed out with 7% battery, but we're not that far away. In sports mode, we would get there in absolutely no time at all, but critically low battery. And right about here is where things go really, really wrong. If you look at the map part, you can see that the drone just gets pushed back right here. There's absolutely no chance of it moving forward. The engines have been limited in speed, so we're pushing forward again. We're 492 meters away, 4%. Pushing forward again doesn't really do much. This is where the drone just says, see you guys later, or I'll see you in hell. Now we're pushing forward, but the drone is flying back and down. This isn't our best moment. We are pushing forward. As you can see from the right hand side stick, it is pushed forward to the max, completely maxed out in sports mode. The drone is flying backwards, as you can see from the map. If the safety features hadn't have turned on, 
we would be home. It's a DJI Air 2S. It's got the power, right? Well, I'm afraid not. Now it's started flying a little bit to the right. It's getting pushed around like crazy. And with 0% on the clock, we knew it was over. I still had hope, but just looking at this, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it was a sad moment. It's always sad to see a drone go down, especially when you have absolutely no control over it at all. But it's funny enough, it still had a lot of fight in it at 0%. We're still trying to push forward here, as you can see. But that's really hit. The drone tells us that there's no chance of us getting home anymore. And you'll see that in a second. We're pushing forward and up. Aircraft auto power off. Landing. And this is going to be the last frame of the Air 2S. Now, if you didn't see those two communications clearly enough, here they are. Battery power restricted, aircraft performance decreased to ensure flight safety. Return to home promptly. Yeah, sure DJI, that's exactly what we're going to do. With absolutely no power in the wind. And the next communication, a second later, critical low battery. Aircraft in auto power off protection. Force landing in progress. We didn't have a chance. We never did. But these shots right here, they're two hours later down the coast. This is the DJI Mini 2. And guess what? It's still flying. And that's my point. As soon as you go down, get back up, dust yourself off. It's a tool. It's there for you to create images. We went out there to get some killer shots. We screwed up. But don't ever give up. Don't ever give up.